Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make a cave. Now, if you guys watch the underground video, uh, how to how to place underground objects video, you guys should be able to figure this out on your own, because it is pretty much exactly the same. And yeah, it's gonna be very similar process so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have most likely a pretty flat um, mountainside that you're gonna want to put this under and the flatter it is the better um, if you can have a sloping one like if you wanted to put a, a cave right in the side of this you could do it it would just be trickier it would take a little more time you could potentially even make a cave underground and I'll sort of explain that as we get into this. So I'm just going to sort of make a semi-realistic area and I'm just going to place a cave right about right in there. And you can't really place a cave per se, but you'll see. So the best way to do this is to use flatten and you're going to want to have an area like a depth that is good like you want to line up your flatten pretty well and you can like change this area it doesn't have to be completely flat but you'll do that all later so the main thing with the cave is you definitely need to build it into the side of a mountain and I'll show you why so inside of the level we've got some objects and I'm gonna search for I think it's grass yeah it's grass grass one and then grass 2 both of these are essential there's also um, rock I think it's rock come on keep typing nope it's not rock dang it did not mean to do that stone maybe no it's not stone um, what would it be what would it be boulder oh yeah it's boulder there we go so there's boulders those are gonna be essential as well um, all of them wait it's the same one come on boulder two yes this one very important and boulder three so yeah all these uh, little pieces they're gonna be very important for this so pretty much as you guys can pretty much guess already what you're gonna wanna do is this is gonna be this is gonna end up being a really really large cave just so you know huge huge cave but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna try to place this grass in here pretty much flush with the surface and it can be you know it can be in it a little bit it's not gonna be perfect the top is gonna end up being kinda of bumpy no matter what you do so I mean if you're gonna be a perfectionist about this you're gonna have a hard time because I mean you can do it and you can make it like really smooth and you can make it pretty much perfect but it's just gonna take some time moving around these uh, plates of grass and yeah yeah see that's not bad that's really not bad um, maybe if I could get a little more angle on it I could get this end to start to come into the ground a little more you know that's not bad that's not bad at all so pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cover the entire top with this fake grass now you could potentially use this grass as well it's just it's super flat and so if you want it to seem a little more natural you'd probably wanna use this grass which is like all rough and bumpy now it's gonna stand apart from the the environment no matter how you make it because this stuff is a lot smoother than this and it's um, a lot more bumpy than this but I'm pretty much just gonna you know wing it I'm just gonna start to make this covering
Okay guys, so that pretty much does it for the top section of this cave. It's not perfect, but I've managed to fit these together decently well. Well enough that there's not many obvious cracks, like there's a crack there. Um, there's not many obvious cracks though that will be visible by the user if they're just on top of this mountain. I guess there's a little there. I can lower that down just a little bit. But yeah, so this is just going to be a little touchy job. You want to do it as best you can, I guess, if you're going for quality. For right now, I'm just going for speed. Um, one thing to consider, guys, is also they are invisible from the bottom. So if you're under here and you're like freaking out, where do they go? Well, they're still there. They're just invisible from the bottom. Pretty much all items are invisible from inside or from the bottom if they're one-sided items like these ones. Because they're not meant to be viewed from the other side. So now I'm going to start working on probably the underside. And I'm going to use the underside with the, I'm going to make the underside out of this stone. And pretty much you're just going to want to flip it upside down and work with it from there. And I'm going to want to start with it pretty flat. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's flat. So yeah. I'm going to just speed it up and I'll be doing this down here. Okay guys, so that's pretty much that's pretty much all that I'm going to do with the bottom. And when you're making this bottom, guys, you don't have to you, you can be even less precise than up here just because there's not a very high chance that any player is going to be getting so close to the bottom that they can like find cracks or something. And also something else you need to consider is that you don't want um, these areas to stick out too far outside of the grass. And even though you can't see it, you can sort of roughly guesstimate where all this stuff is and it makes it really difficult to work with actually because they're like invisible and all that stuff so that's kind of annoying so the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna work with these rocks and these pretty much seal off um, all the 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 items like the undersides and the oversides and all that stuff so we're definitely gonna want to make sure we place a lot of these so that we can cover every single crack and it'll help it look a little more natural unless of course you don't want your your cave to have rocks all over the place which I mean if you're gonna make your cave that way uh, you're gonna have to find another way to do it because this is pretty much the only way to make a cave well with this map editor and so pretty much you're gonna end up by making pretty much a ring around the whole outside of the cave. Okay guys, so that's I'm pretty much done with that section. Um, this does make the cave look a little more man-made, possibly. But, I mean, it's pretty necessary to hide the fact that the underside of the grass is, uh, clear. So, it actually doesn't look too bad from the top. It looks actually pretty good. It looks pretty natural. So, pretty much what you're going to want to do next is, well, you've got a couple options. You could either, one, build, um, leave this huge hole. I mean you could do that leave like a big hole and what you'd want to do afterwards is paint this with a rock and I'll do that at the very end and pretty much this is this is a legit cave I mean at this point we could leave it exactly like this and it would be a cave the nice thing about it is it's so big you could even put like a, a little hill inside and like little spiky things and it even looks a little bit like stalactites at that point something else you could do is if you kinda want it more embedded into the side of um, 
the mountain and more hidden is you could make this this type of thing right here and this is kinda hard to do kinda tricky because actually part of the problem is I've got such a small area but obviously you're gonna need to mess with this a little bit and yeah I'm gonna smooth down see another problem with this is you gotta be careful when you're messing with these sides because if you start uh, removing this stuff I mean you're gonna be able to start seeing underneath these uh, the areas you wanna hide so yeah you just have to be careful about that I think I'll be able to pull this off though I'm gonna make the size a little smaller so it's a little more controllable Let's see it's not bad. It's decent so far. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to move it too much more because I don't want to mess up this area right here. But you know, um, this is. I mean, this is pretty good. I could pull this off. So this would be more like a, a closed cave. You obviously want a way in. So I'm gonna leave this right here. And once you make this, you can actually start to carve away a little bit on the inside. And you obviously have to be careful again, because you don't want to remove too much. But you could lower this cave down, and you could pretty much make uh, whatever you want down here. I mean, it's not it's kind of a crazy cave at this point. Let's see, I'm going to use flatten, actually. I'm going to flatten this out. Just got to be careful I don't flatten too much so I get rid of the walls and you know it looks pretty good out here not bad and if the entrance is just gonna be this crack I mean this is a do this is definitely a valid cave it's actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting so yeah we got a little flat area here um, we got a little bit of a treacherous path up and you could definitely pull this off as being a legit cave let me just change this one bit. I'm going to paint it stone so it blends in a little better. And it'll look good. Let's see. There's the stone, finally. So, this is actually going to be also a little tricky. I want to just paint this one area stone. Not the whole thing. I'm going to paint the side stone. And I'm going to paint down in here stone and I'll paint a little around the edges let's see not bad not bad and of course guys you can get into the detailing make it a lot nicer and then I'm just gonna go back up to the top to the grass paint this grass fill in this stone that I accidentally painted and pretty much I mean you can just disguise disguise your uh, cave and it'll end up looking pretty good I mean you know you can tell that there's some of this fake grass stuff here but if you put trees and bushes around the edge line I mean I'm sure you could uh, disguise that really well and in fact I'm gonna do that I painted a little too much grass but you know it, it doesn't look bad it could be a part it could be like a moss growing on the inside of this rock but yeah overall that's a pretty decent um pretty decent cave so yeah guys so I I just made one type of cave oh and look at this guys this is perfect you can actually place trees on top of this fake grass it's beautiful so you can really like you can really disguise this you can disguise as well so that when people go on there they'll notice oh it's a little rougher than usual but they won't actually realize necessarily that it's actually not real grass so yeah, yeah, you can definitely disguise this pretty well. So any guy, anyway, guys, this is just one version of a cave you can make. I mean, you could do a lot more with these stones. You can decorate the inside with the stones. You can decorate down here with the stones. I mean, you can do all any type of thing you want. You could possibly even just leave it as a huge, wide open ca cavern sort of thing instead of like a hidden cave system. So yeah, guys, go crazy with this. Um, you could make the cave go halfway through the map. You just have to cover it all, and it'd be tedious. But you know, you guys can do pretty much anything you like with this sort of strategy. 
And guys, once again, don't copy exactly what I'm doing, not because I care. I sort of came up with this on the fly. It's not like I've even made a cave in one of my maps. I haven't yet. But just be creative with this. You know, make 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 cool things that only you could imagine. Because that will make your map original and unique. And that will be what people like about it. So... Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like it if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to our channel. We appreciate the support, even if you guys just watch this video. But yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see y'all later.